that was my next question that they had is how do you rotate your tires? Are you a front to back? Are you a crisscross guy? I'm a crisscross Crisscrosser? Guy. Yeah. Um, Only because I want them to rotate the opposite direction. Right. And now something to keep in mind for those of you that have no idea, some tires are directional. directional. <laughs> so They have little arrows on the side. <laughs> before you go and go, oh, I'm going to crisscross like Cooper does, make sure you don't have directional yeah. tires. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> as long as they're all in the wrong spot. <laughs> 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 Who knows? <laughs> You're listening to America's Off-Road Podcast. Brought to you by Off-Road Power Products. Fueled by enthusiasm, a passion for the outdoors, and a spirit of adventure, we drive the industry we love. Welcome back to another episode of America's Off-Road Podcast. With me, as always, is the one and only Mr. Cooper. Hey, guys. And yeah, we got another um, combination of requests today that we're going to combine into one little episode. Before we dive into that, uh, make sure you guys shoot us your suggestions for topics, questions on previous topics. Yeah. Uh, podcast at offroadpowerproducts.com. And we'd love to talk about it. Um, it's one of my personal favorite things to kind of do on the podcast when you guys submit your uh, requests for oh, topics yeah. or talking about <clears throat> the answering questions. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, you guys can tune in on YouTube where you can watch us, mm -hmm. uh, or you can also listen on pretty much all mm -hmm. other podcast channels, YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. Anyone get back to us on whether you look like a hobbit <laughs> or a... That thought? episode hasn't aired yet. <laughs> uh, well, you could have gone like it had. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, no one's got back. And I believe on that episode, you throw out the incorrect email address as well. Uh, I might have. <laughs> Maybe it was, you know, just something, you know, to to a solid for you. Uh, if it's your guys' first time tuning in, uh, my name is Kyle. Like I said, next to me is Cooper. Hey, guys. And we are part of Off-Road Power Products, which is a really cool company. We do pretty much anything and everything outdoors, whether it's vehicle stuff, cheap stuff, ATVs, UTVs, cooking, cooking. Uh, rooftop tents, um, making memories, just enjoying the great outdoors, doing things that most people don't get to do. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and we've done some pretty cool episodes in the past. Like we had some fireside episodes where we were out in the middle of nowhere wheeling. Those were awesome. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're about. Um, our website, if you want to check it out, it's offroadpowerproducts.com. Um, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is America's off-road podcast. And today we're going to dive into tires specifically. Who asked the question? It's a combination of like three different people and uh, something that's been kind of requested a couple times. So, right. yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I, this is going to be a really short episode. Okay. It mud, uh, it's a 40 inch tire. 40 inch, that's it. 40 inch mud terrain. We're done. Bye. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing, nothing else to talk about. Yeah. Um, you're on a different level though. Like your daily drivers are crazy oh, i'm not on a different level my, i have different priorities you have different <laughs> <laughs> i choose my truck oh, yeah. um so yeah tires in general um 40s th <laughs> uh there's there's three kind of options at least in our industry that yeah, there we, is there's a 40, reference there's 13, a 40 50 <laughs> 17 a 40 15 50 r20 and a 42. 42s are now available. Available. 1350, <clears throat> 20. We've got some, didn't we? Didn't we yeah. get some from Yeah, we did. We got a set. They're going to go on Atlas. They're awesome. I'm Which, really, uh, that's a build. Oh, man. I, that's going to blow your guys' mind. Best tow rig ever. So stoked. And it best tows like, like a beast. Well, and what's going on the back oh, of and it, it's too? it's got 43s. So I guess we could have brought that up. 43s is an option for you. Okay, let's get back on <laughs> back Kyle, on you always get us off track. Oh, uh, boy. Um, so, yeah, there's three kind of <laughs> main types of tires, and I know Cooper's got a wealth of knowledge when it comes to tires. Yeah. And <clears throat> the three that we kind of deal with in our industries, mm -hmm. all-terrain, rugged terrain, mud terrain. And the first question we had was kind of what tire is best, um, not necessarily for specific uh, wheeling purposes, but mainly all, for like all around. Like yeah, if you were all to around, pick one, which one, one that has why? to, you know, that one's, that one's a tough one too. Cause it, it, is. it really comes down to like that, that 80, 20, you know, right. you, do you, do you get the, do you get the tire for the 20% of the time that you use it or the 80%? I know what you time? do. And oh, I go for the 20%. <laughs> I go for the 10% of the time. Like, 
Um, but uh, it, as far as that goes, you know, it's um, if this rig is definitely more primarily a daily driver, that's something to take into account because each of these tires have different characteristics. One's quieter than sure. the others. Um, when you're on the pavement, you know, and uh, mud trains can get to be pretty rhythmic and loud <laughs> sometimes. It rhythmic, like that's a really a, good You've got a C-130 chasing you down the highway. <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> <clears throat> and, uh, you know, some of the other ones, they're going to be nice and quiet on the road, but maybe they're not going to give you all the traction and everything you need for your environment. Because, like, really, it comes down to what you use the rig for the most and the kind of terrain you like to play in the most. And then, of course, like really recovery gear and how much work you want to put into right. your trips. Because, like, if you wanted to run an all-terrain anywhere, you could if you had the right recovery <laughs> gear. <laughs> exactly. And it's a weird w way to think of it. But to a certain extent, your tires are tools, especially when it comes to recovery. Um, you know, the, obviously, the more traction you have, the easier it's going to be. But you can also air them down to get a bigger footprint. Mm -hmm. um, the, the one thing... Let's stick with Nitto. That's, that's just, it's tough to even get away from them. So for those of you that are looking for recommendations for a specific brand, we've had phenomenal success with Nitto Tire. They make a great line of tires. Mm -hmm. um, and they kind of, they're, they're all terrain in, in these particular categories. Their all terrain tire is going to be their new one that they just released. It's called like the Recon Grappler. Yeah, well, they've, they've got a couple of them. They've and got the Terra. The Terra Grappler. The that's Terra right. Grappler. And then um, <clears throat> they've got the... Uh, yeah, the Recon Grappler, and um, those those both have definitely more of an all-terrain type tread. That that Recon's kind of a hybrid. It is. It's like it's kind it's of a like really the, cool tire. The Ridge Grappler in in a sense, with I think a little bit uh, different sidewall tread on it. But um, you know, and and those hybrid tires, like the Rugged Train, I think is what you call them, the RT tires, mm -hmm. uh, like the Ridge Grappler and that that Recon. Those are phenomenal combination of a little bit of both totally like, that's what that's what you were running on the um uh when we went snow wheeling yeah the raptor yep you had the ridge grapplers on it and i actually ran both ridge grapplers and the um mud trains mud trains on the zr2 yeah mm -hmm. when i went to the 35s but yeah. the, the ridge grappler really is a good all all around wheel oh yeah um, uh, there it, are a couple of things that i do to all of my tires, I center sipe every single one of them. Right. Um, it just helps with longevity uh, of the tire as far as tire wear. It helps with traction. It really, really helps on snow and ice. So I, I this is new to me. This, the center siping is yeah. something that we've started to do on all of our rigs. Yep. Does that help? I know one of the complaints a lot of people say with like the, the ridge grappler or the the hybrid between all terrain and mud terrain. Mm -hmm. If you are in snow or mud, it packs in there. It, when you center sipe it, does that help? Like uh, wheel speed clears that out. <laughs> you got to put the skinny pedal down, people. <laughs> <laughs> but does center siping help with any of that at all, or uh, it have you experienced you, it, it? it? It allows that tire to like give more. So instead of it being hard, right, and not giving like on ice, which will cause it to break loose and gotcha. slide. It lets it give more. As far as packing goes, you're not really going to pack those little cuts. There, sure. it's basically we're just cutting across the tread a whole bunch of times. <clears throat> but uh, you know, and and snow and ice is going to be less apt to like, I think, pack a tire as mud will. Mud. I mean, I've been a couple places where like you didn't even know there were treads left on the tire. This was so like much slicks. mud packed in. You're like, ah, I got nothing here. <laughs> and no amount of wheel speed is getting rid of it for some reason. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, um, in which case, you, you need good recovery gear. Right. <laughs> Even if you have mud trains sometimes. Actually, mud trains can get you in trouble sometimes because they'll they'll dig in. And then that's when things and break. you're like, oh, well, they, they break. But, like, I'm thinking about it in terms of, like, snow, for instance. Uh, and I get you, you experienced this. Yeah. Like, there was a happy point with the throttle. Yeah. Where if it was too much, you just, everything just dug in. Yep. And, and, you know, mud trains, that will happen a lot quicker than, uh, say, with an all-terrain or, or something else. So some of the benefits, you know, depending on the terrain, really, really change it up. I mean, they all have their, their strengths. Cross. I mean, if, if you're somewhere like Moab, it doesn't matter what tire you have. You're going to have traction for days. In fact, an all-terrain would probably give you better because you're going to have more 
surface contact, more rubber. Um, but it's, it's not like you don't make it up things with anything there. I mean, like I, I have, I have a set of, of nittos that are like three quarters worn out and they're probably the best, best wheels to run out there for Moab in the rocks just because they, <clears throat> there is so much contact area. I mean, you'll see guys, you'll see guys at Sand Hollow with, uh, with rigs that, you know, they've, they've got them worn down. They're like balloons. Yeah. And, uh, and they, they it's work like grit awesome. Tape. It's like, <clears throat> nope, these are working perfect now. Yep. But, uh, it just, it, terrain is like a big one. Sand. Um, yeah. Something maybe with a little bit less, um, a less lug. <laughs> and, and that really comes down to horsepower. And <laughs> yes, when I does. talk about horsepower, I mean like real horsepower, <laughs> not like, not a, like a, a buy a 50, like I put a tuner on my tuner in it. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like pull the motor and put in something different. And and this gets back to that, like digging in thing. Like you either need to have enough horsepower and wheel speed that things just kind of stay on top of it and you can, wee, or you need to know how to feather the throttle and have something that's not going to dig in immediately. Right. <clears throat> now, as far as mud trains go and tell me what your thoughts are on this. I feel like technology has come such far away with those Nitto mud terrain tires they are not that loud on the road uh well it, the, it depends you're talking about the trail grappler but if you're the, talking yeah. about the sorry mud the, grappler, the, the trail grappler which is their mud tire nope those are <laughs> louder <laughs> like you swear to god not it's not just a c-130 but maybe a you know a pack of 10 billion bumblebees <laughs> is following you down the freeway because it's wrong vibrating your re like, oh. <laughs> and they're heavy yeah, no, they're um, trail grapplers. I mean, I ran those on my daily, and I was really impressed with not only the wear on them, but they were not that loud. And I just had this, like, preconceived notion in the past, you know, when I was 16 and had not the craziest built-out yeah, trucks, know, but you, you, like you throw the cheapest. ones. You, <laughs> but you, you put these mud train tires on, and it does. It's loud. It's noisy. But I was actually really surprised with how quiet they were, how well they did on the pavement. Oh, yeah. Um, it's pretty impressive. Oh, that one, you were running that 351150R17, and that tire is it's, awesome. Yeah. It's a killer tire. We have that on something else, too, don't we? Mm. I don't know. Um, what about? Yeah, we built a couple of Jeeps with those. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they're great. Yeah. I mean, it's they're perfect, mm -hmm. in my opinion, for 35. Um, mud, so, mud, that mud terrain, I I run them. I run that tire on everything I have. <clears throat> Granted, right. They're all <laughs> 40s, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, what about tire maintenance um, as far as how often do you rotate them? Is there any things, yays, or any do's and don'ts? Me personally, I don't put a mileage on the rotating. Just I keep just keep an eye on them. I look at them because I'm you're, I'm going to wear them out at different rates just based on the train I'm in and what I'm doing. Um, am I peeling out? Am I in two wheel drive? Am I in four wheel drive? What am I doing? So I, I just watch the wear. And for me, like it's it's the stuff I pay attention to. Also, really nice for having our own siping machine is. I can see when I've got through the sipes. Oh, okay. So then I'll rotate them and I'll, I'll re-sipe re them. them. Yep. In the, in the process. And, uh, um, but I, I do that pretty routinely diagonally, like front, right, I'll go left rear. And that was my next question that they had is how do you rotate your tires? Are you a front to back? Are you a crisscross guy? I'm a crisscross Crisscrosser. Guy. Yeah. Um, only cause I, I want them to rotate the opposite direction. Right. And now something to keep in mind for those of you that have no idea, some tires are directional. directional. <laughs> so they have little arrows on the side <laughs> before you go and go, Oh, I'm going to crisscross like Cooper does. Make sure you don't have directional yeah. tires. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> as long as they're all in the wrong spot, <laughs> 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 who knows? <laughs> they're all going the same direction backwards. <laughs> So you're running mud trains on everything all the time. Is that just because you know you're always, I mean, you, you do a lot of wheeling. I, I would say more than most people. Is that the reason why you're always running yeah, mud right. trains? Yeah, it's the tire that I, I, I like. It's what works for the terrain that I like to go and play in, all of it, which is a little bit of everything. And uh, so, yeah, I just, I set it up for that 10, 
which is off-roading. Right. Like, I don't, <clears throat> I'm not looking for fuel mileage. I'm not looking for noise. I'm looking for performance when I go off-road. Why? Because I don't want to, I don't want to have to ask you for help because I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> that day will come at some point. <laughs> well, we'll never. <laughs> um, what about UTVs? So let's let's talk about that for a little bit because I think it's becoming 40s. more. Oh, oh boy, no, wait, not not forties and a metal belt. Yeah, right. <laughs> a direct drive. <laughs> um, you've spent a lot of time doing research on tires when it comes to UTVs, as far as not necessarily. If it's a mud terrain, all terrain, but more so the size, I think, is more important when sure. it comes to the UTVs. 32s. 32s is the magic number. That's the magic <clears> number. <throat> Man, they work awesome. And I know you've gone through a ton of different sets. Um, yeah. You've had the Tensors on there, yeah. um, which we do sell. That's a great wheel, um, uh, that a great tire. That 35 is is pretty rad. Yeah. yeah. That's what, uh, is that still what's currently on your X3? That's what's on the X3. Yep. And that, that tire is, has been, it's been phenomenal for a lot of things. And one thing that's really cool too, speaking of Nitto, is they kind of mimicked their trail grappler. Oh yeah. No, they made a trail grappler for UTVs. For UTVs. That's what I have on the Honda Talon in the 32 and it is awesome. I think that is the best tire. It looks good. We have it on the XP too, don't we? Yep. We have it on, we have it on everything. All of them. All of them. All of them. Yeah. And and the nice thing is like I've been out multiple times and um I've never had a single tire issue. Nope, not me. <laughs> good, good to go. I've had a couple, but it was not the tire's fault. It's no, it my was... talent's fault. But we've all gotta have that one guy in the group. It's definitely me. <laughs> um <laughs> so what's your thoughts on as far as tire size go? Mm -hmm. Belt driven versus gearbox. Can uh, you go bigger with the gearbox, like the Talons and the the YXZs? I, I you know, they're. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't broken anything. Yet. <laughs> I can tell you, having gone to thirty twos on my Talon with the six speed manual that dual clutch transmission, like, uh, it's insane how good it is. Right. Like it was made for thirty two. There's no reason to change it. Didn't put the the right size tire on it from the factory. Like it's, it's perfect. Um, and, and I think when it comes down to, I would prefer everything have that, that kind of transmission as opposed to a belt. I'm not a huge fan of belts, but, um, I did some, some clutch work on the X3 and that thing's been great. Even with 35s, like killed it. <clears throat> Is that thing ever going to come back? <laughs> while we're on the while we're on the subject if you guys haven't seen yes yeah, okay good yeah the engine is uh is being built right now good and if you guys are curious as to what we're talking about we have all these vehicles we're talking about on our website you can go to the vehicle builds page so you can check out um you know pictures all the products that we've put on them I don't um, even remember what I named that thing. That's how long it's been. I think it is just X3. You got the best name in the world for your Honda. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Talon. Jimmy Talon. <laughs> um, Thanks, Hannah. Yes. Shout out to Cooper's daughter. <clears throat> um, so I think in general, I mean, when it comes down to, it really is what you want. I, I mean, when it comes to the, the all-terrain, the rugged terrain, and the mud terrain tire, like Cooper said, the 80-20 rule... It's really what if you which which percentage is more important? There you go, and and build it accordingly. And that kind of seems to be a reoccurring topic on a lot of the questions, which is fine. Yeah. But so now that we've done another show where we didn't answer anything, <laughs> you're probably more confused now than you were before. No, there's they, awesome. Forties. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> Get forties. <laughs> That's all that matters. If you don't have forties, cut your cut your stuff up. Put some 40s on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. I, We'd like to thank our sponsors today. Uh, Milwaukee, <laughs> Sawzall. Um, yep. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, yeah. Again, it's kind of what, what you want it to do and how it suits your needs. Yep. Um, but they're all great options when it comes to off-roading. Obviously, if it's something you're going to build for a specific purpose and it's not your daily, um, I think the same rules apply, really. Um 
What about sun fade? For, for another one of the questions we got, I do is, not believe in tire shine. That was one of the questions. Never, I will never do tire shine. Why? Because everything sticks to it. All the right. dust sticks to it. They look dirty all the time. I just, I just spray them off. It looks good for um, as far as thirty uh, seconds. The sun, you know, uh, if I have something that is going to get sun rot on the tires, I am not using it enough. <laughs> That's a perfect answer. Like, for example, if the X3 was outside. <laughs> I would cover the tires. <laughs> cover the tires. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, I know it was a short one, guys. I, I but like it. You know, you're trying to like jump into like dishing it back. I'm trying to, so get adorable. It, trying to get up on your level. You guys go back to the previous episodes and. Yeah. Poor Kyle. No, no, <clears> poor Kyle. If only you knew what happened behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, lots of big things coming down the pipeline here at Offroad Power Products. We finally got the Dodge Ram TRX in. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Which is cuckoo. Yep. Speaking of tires, that just got a, a new set of Ridge Grapplers, yep. 37s. 37. Big boys, 37, 13, 50, Big boys. 18s. Dang. Yeah, and there was barely enough room for that wheel to clear the brakes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They are. There's a big brake package on those. I would imagine it's... I don't it's, know that 17s would have fit. I wanted to go 17s, but now I'm I'm thinking everything happens for a reason. <laughs> do those? And, hey, I'd rather be lucky than good. Uh, do they come with 18s or 20s? 18s. They come with 18s. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks good. We ran some K, KMC wheels on it. Is uh, that right? Yeah, fuels. Fuels. Okay. Yeah. Fuel uh, wheels. Fuel close, just like that, only fuels. Just like that, just fuels. Mm. Um, so, yeah, TRX is in the house. There's going to be lots of sweet testing, probably lots of cool content video of Cooper screaming and loud noises happening. No, uh, it's It <clears throat> attacks all of the senses. Yep. It um, is incredible. It's it's pretty impressive. They knocked it out of the park for sure. Yeah, you know what? They, they made it. It is so refined, though. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's missing that. Oh my God, we're all gonna die! Factor, you know, it's just like, everything. Oh no, we're yeah, seven hundred <laughs> horsepower. That's cool. We're just gonna go get some milk, and everything just works so well together so that it's yeah. Like you were saying when we went on the test drive, it's like it feels like you're going thirty five miles an hour everywhere. Yeah, because it's just like, everything. Kyle could even drive. <laughs> like that's how subdued it is. <laughs> Ah, got him. Got him. Uh, so we got the TRX. That's going to be really fun to build out and get some content for you guys coming down there. Uh, Cooper's got some changes. I'm not saying what, but there's lots of things going on in near world with vehicles. And oh no, I'll say it. There's a there's a diesel <clears throat> gladiator on the way. Boom. Why? That because, just happened. Uh, for anyone that likes electric <laughs> and whatnot, earmuffs. That's all you got. You just got to put your earmuffs, earmuffs. or nope. take them off. That thing ain't off. happening anymore. I want my. I want. I'm. I will gladly pay whatever carbon credit I have to. <laughs> this has got to go. So there you have it. Four by E is officially going bye bye. Yeah, Sprout's going bye bye. Um, but diesel gladiator coming in yeah. and uh i know there's big plans for that that's gonna be awesome because oh, i'm excited about that one <clears throat> the list of parts this is gonna be like a, a big time like builder type vehicle right a like lot of I bolt got, on stuff and yeah well, one bracket kits and some working a little bit of fab working on doing some things that like people can uh, get some attainable tons uh underneath uh, a vehicle and how to make it all work very cool uh, speed sensors everything else so it's going to be it's going to be an exciting build and on 40s and on 40s <laughs> yeah uh so yes stay tuned for that also best color ever oh uh, yeah it's it's that like sarge, sarge green sarge green that's the one good thing about the 4xe at least it's got yeah, a we cool might, color we might need to name it something cool like master chief master chief <laughs> <laughs> Oh, geez. I'm going to go with like Sergeant. What is that movie? Sergeant Bilko? No. No. <laughs> Master Chief is way cool. Major Pain. Oh, well, that could be cool. <laughs> uh, so that's coming. It is being built currently. So we're excited about that build. Yeah. Yep. Um, what else we got going in, on right now? You've it just got, got a VIN number and went D1 status in there. Boom. Building it. So if anybody at Jeep is watching this, if you could, you know, just rush that, please. <laughs> Move it along. <clears throat> um, we've got our next episode we're actually filming. I'm excited on. A lot of people have been asking for an update on this rig, and I know it's getting close, but we've got a pretty crazy Dodge Ram Charger. Mm. Mm. That's yeah. got lots of cool things done to it. Um, we'll give you an update that 
on that on the next episode. Uh, but yeah, lots of cool things coming down the pipeline. Stay tuned. Um, we will have all of this content with Cooper's Gladiator coming down and all the stuff we're doing on on our social media pages where you can find us off road power products on Facebook, Instagram. We've got Pinterest, I think. Isn't you there can, a SoundCloud? SoundCloud? Spotify? That's for the podcast, oh. not social media. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But that's you can I, listen to I us said. on SoundCloud hey. um, and YouTube. Every now and then, <laughs> Kyle, you're allowed to have your moments. I'll um, just give them to you. We've got a stellar marketing team, so they're taking awesome shots, awesome content, and uh, we're putting it out there for you guys. So if you want to follow along, uh, make sure you go like and subscribe to those channels. In the meantime, thank you for tuning in to this episode. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit when it comes to <laughs> tires and choosing. Yeah. Just get 40s and you'll be good to go. Boom. Uh, mud terrains, good to go. Mud terrains and 40s is all you need. No tire shine. <clears throat> no tire shine. Otherwise, your buddies will huckle you. And keep your and rigs. We will condone it. <laughs> inside or use them. Use them. Just use them. <laughs> just, just use just them. Just use them. Uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, uh, you can reach out to us, podcast at Off Road Power Products, shoot me a question. Or if you guys want to leave a review, take a screenshot of that along with a picture of either your rig. We've got some really cool pictures that have come in. We've got a, uh, somebody built out a really cool Polaris um, from Texas, more of a uh, like You a, didn't share any of them I know, with I didn't me. share them to you. Awesome. But, uh, way to, with, way <laughs> to keep all the cool stuff to yourself, <laughs> Kyle. Thanks for sending those images, guys. We appreciate it. We like looking at them. I hide them from Cooper so he can't <laughs> see or know what's going on in the world. Um, but if you do um, take a do a review, snapshot it, Send it to podcast at offroadpowerproducts.com along with either, you know, your campsite, whatever kind of lifestyle you're living that kind of mimics what we're trying to do here. Yep. Maybe we'll send you some swag in the mail. Maybe Whee! a cup. I don't know. But you got to do it if you want to find out. Maybe maybe a 3XL. Slightly <laughs> used t-shirt. <laughs> slightly used t-shirt. Or a, I've got a sweet off-road power product zip-up hoodie. It's got a giant hole in the side of it. What? From, I don't know what happened. From a pair of handlebars? <laughs> Maybe. Because of Kyle's corner? <laughs> handlebars into the side and a culvert and... Kyle missed his corner. Off I went. Ruined Wee. my favorite sweatshirt. Still kept it, though. <laughs> Just every day I go home and look at it as a reminder of what you know, not you to can, do. <laughs> you can stitch that up. No, it's like a chunk is missing like this big out of it. It's not like a tear or anything. No. It's bad. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. We will see you next time on America's Off-Road Podcast. Booyah! Booyah!